Hey guys, um, yeah, I just recently got Animal Crossing for my 3DS and I can't stop playing it, so just, just give me a minute to catch this butterfly. How many bills is that worth? Hi everybody, Christina Marie here with another book haul for the month of September. I know at this point I have done one regular book haul and two library book hauls. I have been hauling up a storm y'all and today is no different. I've been to Barnes and Nobles, I've been to Amazon, I, I've been to Amazon.com, and I've been to Half Price Books. I've been everywhere. So how many books do I have? Twelve books. I have twelve. Well, technically I'll be showing you thirteen, but one was in my first haul. So let's get going. Here we go. <sighs> This, these are it. These are all the books I need to work out. If I'm gonna do this, I need to work out. I have no upper body strength at all. Whew. All right, first things first. Graceling, by, who is this by? I don't even, Kristen Cashore, whatever. I can't pronounce names. Graceling! has a sword on it really really cool um don't even know what this is about it was that's a lie i know what it's about but i can't remember what it's about i just remember that i liked knowing what it was about when i read what it was about what am i on today friday afternoon Ugh. anyway graceling i got it i want to read it it's gonna happen this year probably not next year faux show Next, we have the Hex Hall trilogy. I don't know if this is the right way, but this is the first book right here. Um, Hex Hall is the first book, and this series is by Rachel Hawkins. So it's kind of like a Vampire Academy-esque feel. So this is the first book here, Hex Hall. Second book is Demon Glass. Third book is Spellbound. I got all three books. Each one was under 10 bucks. So just went ahead and got all three, you know. Because the thing is, once I start a series, I have to finish it, whether I like it or not. The only series that doesn't hold true for is The Maze Runner. I didn't like the first book. So tell me guys, does it get better? Does it, huh? Please let me know in the comments below. Just, just tell me if it gets better. Then I also got School Spirits by Rachel Hawkins, which is the spinoff or the sequel or whatever you want to call it to the Hex Hall trilogy. So I got the first book in that. Next book I got is called Dune. And this is by Carrie Corp and Lori Lang Langdon. This is actually, I heard about this through the Hypable um, book. I think it's called Book Hype. The Hypable book podcast, which is called Book Hype. And these two authors were actually, my cats are fighting. These two authors actually guessed hosted the podcast and they were so funny and so adorable and so sweet and the book sounded really good what am i living in what is going on over there anyway they were so cute and so funny and so just friendly i just said hey i'm gonna buy the book whether i like it or not because i just liked them 
but then I checked out the ratings for this on Goodreads and it's like in the high three stars between three and a half and four stars and typically I don't look at anything that's below a 3.6 so this must have been between a 3.6 and four or something like that or even higher than four I can't really remember but yeah so double the pleasure double the fun this seems like a book that I actually might like despite the fact that I bought it because I like the authors who knew all right this next or these next two books are actually books that were highly, highly, highly recommended to me by a friend of mine on Twitter, Miss Joan. These books are by Sarah Moss or Sarah Mass, however you wanna say it. And it's the Throne of Glass series or trilogy. I don't know how many books this is gonna be. This one here is Throne of Glass. And then we have the second one, Crown of Midnight. I just went ahead and got them both because something tells me I'm not gonna be able to put this book down. And when I finish it, I don't wanna go through withdrawals, so I went ahead and got the second one too. So, I, oh, and the spines are so pretty. Aren't these gorgeous spines? Look at that, they're so pretty. But yes, I cannot wait to dive into these. I'm hoping to do it soon, but I'm not gonna hold myself to any kind of calendar. Even though I did finish my reading goal for 2013, I am gonna keep going though, because you know, I, I might wanna just beat it. So, yes, I'm excited for this. All right, next. Yes, I hauled this in my first book haul earlier this month, Obsidian by Jennifer Armentrout or Jennifer L. Armentrout. What I wanted to show you next was, could I just stop at this one? Hell no, I got the rest. Mm-hmm, I got the rest. I got Onyx, which is the second book in the series. Then I picked up Opal, which is the third book in the series. If you get the fact that I'm going in chronological order, then you'll know that I also picked up Origin, which is the fourth book in the series, and the fifth book isn't out yet, but I will pick that up as soon as it is. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna have a new series to obsess over, and I am totally A-OK -okay with it. The Lux series. I'm on board, and I haven't read a single word and then finally, the reason why this book haul even happened is I needed to get this book as soon as it came out. So I ran to the store the day it came out and nabbed it. And there were only three copies on the shelf at the bookstore I went to. Rainbow Rowell's fangirl. I had to get this book because I am pretty sure it is going to be a testament, a testimony, a story of my life, of my existence. It is going to make me feel all the feels and do all the do's and smell all the smells and cry all the cries and just laugh all the laughs and all of the everything. It's just going to give me everything. And how do I know that? Because I trust Rainbow Rowell. I know she is going to bring emotions out of me that I have not felt since, I don't even know, a really, really long time. Yes, the Mortal Instruments series is my absolute favorite book series of my entire existence. Harry Potter is a close second. I was, I just, there's, there's, it's a way that you connect with a series that makes it your favorite. And I connected with the Mortal Instruments on a level that surpasses that of Harry Potter. And I, something tells me that this book is gonna acknowledge the fact that a book or a story or a character can touch you and change your life in such a way that you can't help but become a fangirl and that these tendencies are true and real and not to be made fun of. Yes, we are goofy, yes, we're silly, we're obsessive, we're crazy, but we're real. And that's what I feel like I'm gonna get from this. So I, this, I'm very excited to read this, very excited. Enough of my spiel. Sorry guys, it's 6.30 and I told Prince that I would be at his house at 6.30 and we don't wanna be late to Prince's house. That's not right. 
I told you Animal Crossing is a drug. Prince, I'm here! Sorry, so that is everything. That is my book haul. Yes, it was a lot, but I'm just so excited that I have everything that I have and I just uh, can't keep all the, uh, I'm so excited. Okay, thumbs up this video if you like book hauls. Comment down below with any book suggestions or anything you wanna to say to me. I just love talking with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. All of my links are down below. Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, everything down below my blog. It's all there if you want to be with me and all my crazy. Until next time. Bye guys. I'm gonna go back to this now. So ta-ta.